How to re-enable the original start menu in the Windows 8 build, or also how to disable the Metro UI in Windows 8 build. If you are like me and you rushed out to install the new dev build of Windows 8, which I'll link to in the comments, you may have noticed that A, it doesn't upgrade, it really just does a clean install, so you have to reinstall all of your applications. But you may have also noticed that when you go to reinstall all of your applications, they don't show up right in your menus. In fact, real native Windows 8 apps get these nice icons that are kind of pretty and they would be touch friendly. I can't touch my screen, but they would be touch friendly. Installed applications get these ugly square boxes with a little itty bitty icon. And they're not really useful and they just scroll on for forever. I've done a whole bunch of installs now to get my system back to where it was. You can see I just got gobs of junk, unsorted, no particular order, things aren't even grouped well together. Here's Microsoft PowerPoint, but InfoPath is over here, and Designer's over here, and Camtasia's over here, and it's just, it's very poorly done. So, I find myself wishing that I had the Start menu, but normally you don't get the Start menu in Windows 8, but there's a registry hack that will re-enable it. And it will look just like the original Windows 7 start menu. So if you open regedit by going Windows R for run, then type regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, press enter, you can then drill down to computer, HP current user, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, Explorer. And there will be this RP enabled option and you double click it and you change it from the one that it is normally to the zero. Hit OK. And the next time you go down to the start button, you get the start button. If you double click it, I lied. If you hit the Windows key, you get the Metro UI. Hit the Windows key again, you get the start menu. So it's not quite as perfect as I would have liked it and it's a little bit of a hack but it makes Windows 8 a lot more usable because I can't work without having a start menu because scrolling through all of those icons just wasn't working. I couldn't memorize them and I couldn't get to things quickly. So this is a really nice hack. Puts everything back to the regular UI plus lets you see what the Metro UI looks like. So that's how you do it.